Hello everyone, this is Brittany with Redeemable Junk and I'm coming to you guys today to show you guys how to make this cute paper bag ephemera holder pocket. It's a pocket and let me see if I have something I can stick inside of it. Here we go. There's a pocket here and a pocket here and then a large pocket on the back. Um, you can glue the sides to make the pocket not so big if you don't want it as big, but I wanted it big because I'm going to stuff it with ephemera and send it to somebody. So they're super cute and easy to make, so let's get started. What you're going to need is a paper bag, okay, to start off with. Super easy, right? You're going to turn it to the side that has the flap, and you're just going to fold the bottom part up to where it makes two pockets. So now we have a, when we glue it, we'll have a pocket here and a pocket here, okay? Next, what we're going to do is we're going to cut part of this off. So you need to decide about how big you want it. And I like the size of this one, so I'm just going to keep the same size as the one previous to it. And we're just going to cut that off. So we got that cut off, and now what we're going to do is you're going to get some scrapbook paper, and we're just going to decorate it. So I went ahead and I already pre-cut my pieces of scrapbook paper. I cut a piece to go there, a piece to go here, and a piece to go on the bottom. And I might, I think I'm gonna cut just a teeny tad bit off that side because it's a, it's a little long. Let's see, there we have it. So we can ink the edges up now. I'm gonna wait till I glue it or till I glue it on to ink my edges up. So let's get started gluing it on real quick. And then I'll show you the next steps that we do. You're gonna to wanna to glue these on before you glue the pocket part down. Because if you don't, then you can't put the scrapbook paper down inside the pocket and more of the bag is going to show. Now, if you don't mind to have that look, then you can um, glue your pockets down first. I'll show you what I mean. Let me show you. We're gonna glue this down right here. These flaps we're gonna glue down. I like to stick my scrapbook paper down inside the pocket like this, where it covers it up a little bit. So, um, so it doesn't show a crease right there, okay? I do the same thing with this piece. I hope that makes sense. I'm about out of my glue stick. I'm going to need a new glue stick really soon. See how I, that goes down? So only, so it don't show a piece of, you know, the paper right there. That's how I like to do mine. And then after this, we can glue the pockets down. It's that easy, literally, guys. We made this in, let's see. It's not even four minutes that we've been doing this. That's how easy it is. It's super easy to make. They're super cute to send to somebody as Happy Mail. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to put a bead of glue right here, a bead of glue right here, and we're going to push that down. Put a bead of glue here, a bead of glue here. Push that down. We're going to hold it there for a minute so it sticks. And that's going to make our pockets. While that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and glue my piece that goes on the back. You do not have to decorate the back if you plan to glue this down inside your journal, which you can totally do. But if you're gifting it to somebody, you might want to decorate the back just so it's pretty, even though they probably will glue it down inside their journal after they take all the ephemera out. It's still, um, it's still pretty to give it to them decorated, you know. And I'm going to cut a circle notch out of this. So I'm going to show you guys. Before I decorate it, I am going to decorate this. I'm just going to get my circle punch, and I'm just going to cut a thumb notch into this. So I got my thumb notch cut out. Now, if you want, you can glue the sides, okay? If you glue the sides, that would just make it more of a pocket. That would be better to glue inside your junk journal. But if you want a big pocket that you can stuff a lot of ephemera in, don't glue the sides. It's totally up to you. I'm not really sure how I want to decorate this. I was going to make it a little bigger so she fit on better and it showed her feet. But I didn't do that. So 
Let's see what we have going on here. I think it needs a little bit of cheesecloth as no project is complete without cheesecloth, in my opinion. I love, 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 love using cheesecloth. I think it's one of my favorite junk journaling supplies is coffee dyed cheesecloth. It is my favorite. I love it. I just love the look it gives. So pretty. I really think that looks good. It's simple. It's easy. I don't really think it needs a whole lot. My pocket right here is a little crooked, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that. What do you guys think? I like it. It's simple. It's easy. And we made that in literally six minutes, guys. So you can mass make these. You can make these really quick. If you are if you need a gift to gift to a bunch of people, you could really mass make these. Stuff them full of some stuff. And they'd be super cute to give out. That just gave me an idea. I'm going to a craft retreat. I'm trying to come up with some ideas. I've already started on some gifts, but they're kind of taking a little longer than I'd like. So I might um, change it up. Do something else. These would be super cute to make. So there you guys go. A quick and easy tutorial as always. I like them quick and I like them easy. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like the comment and, or the comment, make sure to like the post and comment on the post as I greatly appreciate that. It really helps me out. Also check out the description below. I have some information there for you guys. Um, and I hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful day.